Good afternoon, everyone, and I'm Miss Christy, the K Prep teacher. And today I have a story for you about a little girl named Fran who's trying to grow a flower. Our story is called Grow, Flower, Grow by Lisa Bruce, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. She took it home. Grow flower, she said, but the tip stayed tiny. I think this flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge. Inside, she found some of her favorite food. What's some of your favorite foods? Ooh, those are really good. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day, Fran gave it a piece of cheeseburger. Then she gave it spaghetti, two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. She even gave it one of Fred's juicy bones. But the flower didn't grow. The tip stayed tiny. Fran got fed up. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. The flower pot fell onto the ground and rolled away. The rain fell on it. The wind blew on it. The sun shone on it. Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened the door, a surprise was watching. What do you think it is? Let's find out. A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. And that's our story of Grow, Flower, Grow. And today we're going to make our own flower picture using some bottles from home. So the first thing you'll need is a piece of white paper, some markers, some paint, and of course your bottles. I'm going to start with my salad dressing bottle. But first I need to put my paint on my plate. I'm going to squirt out my blue, and then my pink. What are some of your favorite colors you'd like to use? Flowers come in all different colors. So you can use any colors you want. All right, so I have my blue, pink, and red. And I'm going to start with my blue paint, because blue is my favorite color. And I'm going to paint the bottom of my salad dressing bottle. Put a good amount of paint on it. And then I'm going to stamp it on my paper because it's going to make the petals for my flower. And as you can see, it's coming, there isn't much paint. So I'm just going to come back to my plate. And I'm going to paint more of my bottle. And I didn't have any paint brushes, so I'm using Q-tips. But if you have paint brushes, you can use those. And I'm going to add two more petals. Can you count with me? One, two. So now my flower has five petals. Next, I'm going to take my water bottle and another Q-tip. And I'm going to paint this one red. I'm going to put a lot of paint on the bottom of my water bottle. And we're going to see if this will make the same shape or a different shape flower. All right. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to stamp it on my paper. And if you look, I have little dots. Kind of like those flowers you see in the grass that you can blow. 
And I'm going to take my Q-tip of red paint and I'm going to add some more little dots for some extra detail. All right, and for my last flower, I'm actually going to use my blue paint bottom and I'm going to paint that pink. Do you know what shape this is that it's on the bottom? That's right, it's a circle. All right, so I have my pink and I'm going to stamp that on. And now I have a little circle flower. Now I can take my pink, just like I used my red, and I can color in my circle. It could be like a little poof flower. All right. Next, I'm going to take my markers. I'm going to use my green marker. I'm going to add some stems to my flowers. Be careful not to touch the paint as you draw your stems. You can have them connect or you could have them separate. I'm going to connect mine together. And then I'm going to add some leaves to add some extra detail to my flowers. You can add some if you want, or you could just leave them with stems. Color them in a little bit. And I think I'm going to put my flowers in a flower pot. So I'm going to choose blue for my flower pot. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle has two long and two short sides. I'm going to color that in. So it looks like my flowers are inside my pot. You could have your flowers be in grass or wherever you would like them. I think I'm going to add a sun to my picture. Because if you remember, flowers need sun and water to help them grow. All right, and here's my finished picture of my flowers. And I can't wait to see yours if you'd like to post them in the comments. Have a great rest of your day.